The world's first three-color, four-direction electric traffic lamp was installed in Detroit in 1920. The basic design remains practically unchanged today. Basically, the idea came around when I uh, saw a number of accidents with uh, motor vehicles and traffic light signals, and I thought there's got to be a better and a more safer and a cost-effective way of actually designing the traffic light system. Um, basically, what we did is we redesigned the pole and the actual signal heads, and essentially it's a modular format. Um, your signal heads form part of the actual traffic light pole. Uh, what then happens is if a car has an accident with the traffic light pole, um, the municipalities then don't have to lay out the expensive cost of a new pole, they just replace the, the plastic segments that the pole is made up of. Now due to its modular system and its modular format, if a motor vehicle has an accident with it, probably no one is ever going to be killed by a traffic light event. In addition to the number of collision tests we have done on the pole, we have also had to determine what the maximum wind loading we could achieve, as well as the maximum bending moments the system can sustain. Uh, this is very important uh, when you begin to hang signal heads from cantilevers, as well as inserting large advertising boards on the pole. In a traditional system, your signal heads are attached to the actual pole itself. In our system, the uh, signal heads form part of the pole. The way we've designed the modular system is that with basically six or seven modular units, we can recreate and build any permutation of traffic light system. That makes uh, the carrying of stock within the local municipality and roads agencies very simple um, and very standard right throughout the country. So within six or seven units, we can build any permutation of traffic lights. The first MTLS was erected in the Santon CBD of Johannesburg on the corner of Santon and Grayston Drives. This intersection consists of 13 traffic lights and the total construction and erection time was two days. Half of that time was spent digging the foundation holes for our precast concrete foundation units. Once the foundation units were in place and leveled, the simple task of building the units was all that was left to do. If you compare the present costs, our system will be on average 30 to 40 percent cheaper to install in the present system, but the benefits come in at a later stage where there is no maintenance, there is no painting of the pole, um, and if a motor vehicle does have an accident with the pole, we then just replace those segments that are broken. Your savings then start looking in the terms of 80 to 90 percent cheaper than by replacing, uh, you know, comparing that to the older system. With its open architecture, modular format, and inherent safety features, the MTLS will be able to accommodate future technologies and advancements in traffic control technologies in a way that up until now has been impossible. The modular traffic light system represents the single greatest leap forward in the 90-year history of the traffic light. <laughs>